Howdy folks, Sunny and South. Hope everybody doing real good. Cajun stuffed bells on the menu this evening. We're going to be stuffing these uh, bell peppers with some ground pork. I got a pound here. We're going to get some blackening seasoning on that ground pork and uh, fry it off until that blackening season does its magic. Get that blackened ground pork mixed up with some rice, some breadcrumbs. We'll get a whoop egg in there just for a little bit of a binder. We're going to get a little celery and onion in there along with some parsley and a little bit of uh, minced garlic. Of course, we're going to hit it with some Worcestershire, add a little bit of acidity with some hot sauce. We'll get these stuffed up real good and mound it up, get them in the oven, get them cooked nice and tender. First, we got to get the guts out of them. We're going to parboil them for about a minute or two just to start the softening process. Let's get to cooking. And what we're doing to prep these uh, bell peppers is just going along the top and cutting it out, you know, kind of like you would a pumpkin. And on these innards, I like to just use a... Uh, pair of kitchen sears and just get down in there and chop this stuff up just like it while we wait for the water to come up to boil, we're going to get this uh, ground pork in the skillet. We're going to bust this up. And I like to always bust mine up. You can see where when they ground this up, it's in these long chains. So I always just cut the, across the other way first. We're just going to let this brown up here a little bit. And then we'll get the blackening seasoning in. Uh, we got the pink cooked out of this. Let's go in and get some blackening seasoning in. Probably about a tablespoon. Get it mixed up here and look at it. See if it needs any more. Looks like it probably will. Boy, I tell you what, that's smelling good. We're going to get this fire turned up real good. So that these herbs and spices can toast up and blacken and get extra good. Now this pork is pretty lean. I'm going to put a little oil in here. Use a high smoke point cooking oil. It's avocado oil. Get a little in there. And let this kind of saute and fry up here a few minutes in this oil. And it'll really start sticking to the bottom as it blackens. And it's already starting to. Just want to stir it fairly often until we get this blackened up real nice. We're going to get our bell pelts in. And we're going to let them boil there about a minute and a half, two minutes. Alright, this is starting to stick pretty good here on the bottom. So I reduced the heat. It's on about a medium high to get it going. Now we're down to about a medium. You just want to kind of go through here and scrape those blackened spices and seasonings off the bottom of the skillet and work it back into the meat. And it's going to take a few minutes. Quite a bit of blackened and seasoning in there and we want to get maximum potential out of it for that flavor. Alright, those have been in there about a minute and a half, two minutes. We're just going to get them out, set them over here. 
basically let them steam on themselves till we get ready to stuff them. And I see people that want to put these in an ice water bath afterwards. And I don't see the point. The whole point is to start tenderizing these. And if you're just going to stop the cooking process, you're going to have to cook them longer in the oven. And you see, we're looking real good on this ground pork. Blacking it up pretty nice. I think we got about maximum potential out of converting our blackening seasoning into those delicious flavors. I'm going to add a little bit of beef broth here just to deglaze and get those goodies off the bottom. Along with some Worcestershire. Let that bubble off there a minute or two. We're gonna go in here and get this grease out of here. A little bit of fat. Give us a taste, see if it needs any salt. That blackening spice had some salt in it. Nope, that's right. That's good. That's gonna be good in a bell pepper for sure. Get our celery in. Now you could have cooked these vegetables with that pork, but when you're trying to blacken something, you know, moisture is an enemy. So you got to do these separately. You're just not going to get good caramelization and browning and blackening effect on the pork with the blackening seasonings. We're just going to sweat these onions down and uh, let the celery soften up a little bit. Might need a little olive oil in now. Now we'll turn the fire off. We're going to get us a little garlic in. A couple teaspoons. Tell you what, that's smelling good. Get this celery, onion, and garlic in here. On this rice, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of a salted Cajun seasoning so that you ain't getting no bland rice when you're eating on this. I'm going to put some green onions in here. Now you can stuff these two different ways. You can put that filling in the bottom of the uh, bell peppers and then this on top or vice versa or you can mix it all around. Uh, it's a personal choice, however you want the final product to turn out. On this filling, boy it is smelling good. We're going to put some egg in here. This is one whooped up egg but I do not want to use the entire egg. And this is pretty hot, so I'm going to add it and whoop it pretty quick so that we don't end up scrambling an egg in here. And use the bowl edges to remove heat as we incorporate the egg. Some breadcrumbs. We'll go in with a couple of tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Maybe a little more. I'm going to get us a little hot sauce in just for a touch of acidity. 
a teaspoon or two. It's all mixed up real good. It's smelling real good, that's for sure. We're gonna get us some rice filling down here in the bottom. I like to do about a quarter way up. Nicely seasoned rice in the bottom, looking real good. Start getting our meat mix in. And you want to put this in here where it's not just packed real tight. Otherwise, because of the breadcrumbs, you're going to end up with just a real dense mix inside. And I don't like that. I like for mine to be a little lighter. So when you get it in there, just kind of push it a bit, you know, to fill it all up, but don't pack it in. And we're going to get the tops mounded up a little bit, just so we can use all this filling. i sensing it going to waste, because it is delicious. I'm going to put a little water in the bottom of this uh, casserole dish here just so these will steam a little bit and uh, the bottom won't burn on you. It's going to go in the oven 400 degrees for about 35-40 minutes. See y'all back shortly. We got our stuffed bales out of the uh, the oven. Looking and smelling real good. Nice and tender. I'm gonna let this cool off for about five or 10 minutes because they piping hot inside. And then we're gonna plate these up uh, with some mock shoe. Got some dinner plated up. I've got some Cajun style mock shoe here that I've added some cream sauce to. We're gonna serve this up as the bed with this stuffed bell pepper. And the video of this mock shoe will be coming up here in a few days. Set that right there. Sprinkles a little bit of parm right here in the top. I had some parsley I was going to put in this, but I forgot during the cook. So we'll just sprinkle a little bit right here on top. We got a few little green onions to toss around. Gonna need a little bread. We're gonna need a little hot sauce. Splash a little around here now. Gonna need us some country style champagne. And we're gonna get in here and see what this is talking about. Ooh boy. I can tell that's gonna be off the charts already. This combination of blackened pork, bell pepper. And all this beautiful stuffing. Let's get a little look in here. We got some rice. Got the pork. Well seasoned. Mmm. Get some of this mock shoe. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Man, that is good. That is very good. Mm-mm. My goodness. I don't think I'm gonna be able to quit eating this. Too far. That regular folks proof. They're busting with flavors. That's it, folks. Cajun stuffed bell pepper served on a bed of creamed 
mock shoe. Like I said, that video on making that is a side dish at mock shoe. Be up a couple of days. Till next time. Peace.